first time in like two weeks again. Peter's currently working on updates for some reason. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. Let's get everybody in here real quick. Josh just sent a gift. Oh, I'm 17 seconds in. I don't see anybody. This is, this is weird. Oh, there's one person. That's what I'm talking about. Is it you? Hey, Nina Ren. What's up? Connor the Hunter. How's it going? Mora? Mora. I think that's how I pronounce your name. Can't remember, but what's up? Jack O'Freddy, what's going on, dude? How's everybody doing tonight? My man, Josh Pence. <sighs> what are you doing, dude? How are, how's the cleaning of the, of the fig room going? Noogie, man, what's going on, dude? How's it going? Guys, I'm just uh, chilling. I actually have a Friday off. You believe it? I don't. Uh, Todd, what's going on, man? Big Fury does some dope toy photography. Speaking of toy photography, have you guys saw my last video on Good Fig in the Morning? It's pretty cool. What's going on, Adrian? How's it going today? I'm just sitting here messing with this little Mysterio dude. Just, uh, I didn't get the green head. Kind of wanted the green head, but uh, this, this one will do. This one will do. So yeah, guys, to, uh, we are... We're actually just chilling right now. Did you? Did I see your fig photography? I did. I'm actually going to use it in the next series of fig photography. So, guys, if you have any figures or any pictures of figures that you want to everybody to see, you want to just share it around however many views I get on that video, um, go ahead and send them to me on Instagram, and I'm going to include as many toy photography photos of other people's that I can, with permission, of course. What's up, Chris Johns? Thank you. You love that dude back shot. I love that dude back shot. So thank you, man. Bill Thomas, how's it going? Don't worry about saying my name wrong. Fantastic. I appreciate that. We'll not worry about that. So I'm hoping Night of Ren gets in here. Because I haven't really, or Night of Ren, that Iron Patriot gets in here. Because I have not talked to, like, I feel like David's went off the grid today. Maybe he actually doesn't really speak to you. That's true. Yo, Josh, um,. Brooklyn is actually looking for hotels for the weekend of Fanboy. So don't you don't have to worry about that expense. <clears throat> hmm? Did what? Alright. So guys, as the title says, I think the title says this, we are going to be building the uh, Coal Obsidian Build-A-Figure. Reason being is Brooklyn brought this home just a few minutes ago. So, uh, huh? Because you're nice, yes. So we got this here. Are you going to get Luke Cage? Probably so, yes. Did you complete Obsidian through retail finds? Um, I got Thor and Ant-Man through a local, con or not local, but a comic book shop in St. Augustine, Florida. And the rest of them, yeah, I think so. I think I did. He's black, yes, he is black dwarf in the comics. So we're going to complete that. Just got to pop this open real quick. And then we're going to have all the pieces laid out here. And we're going to build Cold Obsidian. So, but before I do that, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I picked up probably over the few weeks. I know I haven't really had a toy hunt video out. Um, that's just because, like, we've been saving our money. And, like, saving, saving, saving. And we really haven't been doing much uh, toy hunting, to be honest with you. It's more like getting groceries and then, oh, hey, look, they have this. And then picking it up, to be honest with you. Um, but I picked up Mysterio and I actually got this guy on the Hasbro toy shop. So that was really cool to pick that up. Finally, I haven't saw this in the wild at all. So that was cool to see him. Um, Mysterio is an awesome character and is it Jake Gyllenhaal playing him very soon in a Spider-Man movie? That's pretty sweet. What's up T-Man? Yeah, the unmasked head. It just reminds me so much of Kate from Lost because it is, but money doesn't grow. That is true. Money does not grow on trees. You only found Ant-Man so far two hours away from me. My area is dry. You know, keep it up. Keep looking, man. They'll, they'll, they'll far not fat. They will find, they will pop up eventually. I guarantee that. Especially with it being like a movie wave. So, but yeah, we picked up, uh, Mysterio. We got him. And let's see. We also picked up one of my, actually one of my favorite figures from this wave is this Malekith picture, this Malekith figure. I don't know. He just looks dope. I think he looks awesome. I love the two-tone face paint like from the comics and stuff. This sword is pretty damn sweet. The only thing I don't like is that that stays in place. So I'm going to have to bend that back down, keep some weight on it or something. But uh, I have him posed like this on my shelf, and that's kind of pushing that up. So uh, 
Yeah, I'll heat it up and bend it back. Um, but yeah, this guy is really cool. If you guys have this and can find this figure for cheap, I suggest it. If you guys are into DBZ, it kind of reminds me of Jace from the Frieza Saga. He was red. Haven't been to Target or Walmart in a month. Sorry, Toy Hunt fans. Yeah, man. It's been a while since we've actually went on a hunt. So, I feel you. Rabbit Hammer, what's going on, dude? Finally found a Grand Moff Tarkin. Yo, I found two the other day while I was out with a friend. Uh, we were... We were just we just stopped in the Walmart to get some snacks. I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look at toys, and I literally found it hanging on the peg. But I didn't purchase them. I already had one, and I like I said, we need to save. <clears throat> and what else did we pick up? Let's see. I know we picked up a lot more because I have this entire wave now. Uh, we got Black Knight. He's down there, but I believe I showed Black Knight on my last Foxy Friday live stream. So I won't be showing that. And honestly, I got Snoke on the throne finally. That was that, that was a thing. I actually deleted all the footage to that on accident, so it's been rough. I've been focusing on good figure in the morning and stuff, so. Justin Cosper, what's going on, dude? Will you hit me that right there? Thank you. My big boy, well, not really my big boy purchase. I was hooked up. Uh, I was approached by an awesome group and company called Collector's Own Cantina, and I know you guys have saw on good figure in the morning that I've been pushing this, um, but they actually hooked me up with this Mezco Wolverine, and, uh, they're really genuine people. Awesome group. Uh, it's a, great to be part of another positive toy community such as the Syndicate and Open Box or some Mafia. So, um, been having a lot of uh, fun posing this guy up. He's not that posable. We need to focus back. He's not that posable when it comes to like, um, like action poses and stuff like that he's mainly for museum poses unfortunately uh like deadpool deadpool you can do a lot of poses with him even with the soft goods uh but this guy right here he's pretty much good for museum poses um but uh cool figure and i appreciate the collector's own cantina for sending it my way and we sent them some people to join that group and if you have not joined that group go to facebook click collector's own cantina and join that group because it's actually a really really fun group your service here sucks but i'm watching homie thank you kyle how's it going dude miss you are you going to get a Deadpool wave too? I actually was filming Good Fig in the Morning about 20 minutes ago, and I saw it while I was scrolling through Facebook trying to find a post that I saw earlier, and I got caught my live reaction to that wave. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Looks good. Bought Snoke today too. Yeah, man, for $10, I think I got him for like 13 or 14 But for that price, you can't beat that at all. Yo, Foxy, nice to hear from you again, man. What's up, JR? Dude, I, I still post videos, I promise. I love Black Series Tarkin. I haven't posed up with Vader. Yeah, I actually... Uh, I need to expand my Star Wars section. Because, like, the villains and stuff are overruling. It's just... It's getting bad. Need to expand on I love Black Series Tarkin. Well, I got Snoke when he first came out. Yo, he's a cool fig. He's definitely worth it, honestly. Because... I thought he was dope. I like that throne. It looks good. But without further ado, I am going to go ahead and pop open if I have something to pop it open with. Hmm. Hey, will you cut that? There's a knife over there. Do it. Got my Hot Toys Death Trooper in the mail today. Man, Josh, you know, we were talking on the phone one time. I remember this distinctively, like clearly. I said, hey man, you're going to catch the bug one day. And you were like, nah, dude, nah, I'm never going to do, I'm not with Hot Toys. Well, I'm not saying I told you so, but I told you so. Andrew Gearhart, what's going on, dude? Got them in better storage. Get them in a better storage spot, too. Only have villains from the Black Series. That's what, dude, I said I was going to, he said it's the damn Dolphs. That's true. Those do look very inviting to hot toy figures. Um, what was I going to say? Whenever I first start, started collecting Black Series figures, I told myself I was just going to do the villains. And then eventually, I had to start getting other characters. So, Hopes for Mezco Venom. Yo, if they made a Mezco Venom, that would be sick. Detox way to them, like Anakin to the dark side. Yo, did anybody catch E3? I don't know why that just popped in my mind, but I'm hyped for a lot of games. I just saw today where they did a, uh, 
what's it called? World War Z game coming out. And that looks fun. And I think Brooklyn and I are going to get a Nintendo Switch. So that looks all that's pretty cool as well. Well it's gonna be like around the time Pokemon comes out. Battlefield 5 does look good. I've bought every Black Series that has came out since 2015. Finn with, with Finn, that was a one. <laughs> the cursed Finn, you mean? So here's Wasp. Uh, there we go. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. So there's Wasp right there. She looks awesome. I'm going to put this uh, alternate head sculpt on real quick. So let's see what she looks like with that. When does Pokemon come out? Uh, like September or something like that. Yeah, and the Spider-Man game looks dope. I cannot wait for that. The Sinister Six in a Spider-Man game. Who do you guys think was at the end? I'm going to say, like, Doc Ock, of course. Because he pretty much is in every single iteration of the Sinister Six. In somehow. In some form. I'm trying to get Josh to buy For Honor so that we can play it. Because that game is dope. I used to play that game, like, back-to-back -back all the time. Yo, Billy's here? What? Yep. What's up, Billy? How's it going, dude? Yo, if you look right here, there's some Dragon Ball Z statues right there that you need. <laughs> what else we got? Her paint apps look almost... Dude, she's so freaking cool. Seriously. Oh, you have her phone connected to the office. He said, I'm just sneaking away from work to tune in. Yo, I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, so here's Wasp. Josh actually put, put some pictures on his Instagram of this. And this character, this, this looks good. And of course, it's not going to focus. Focus? No? No? Okay. I got to do like Parker did. There we go. So look at that. It's Kate from Lost. Her eye kind of looks wonky on camera, but it looks good on here. That's weird. So yeah, there's Wasp. Um, got the wings on there, and the wings are fully kind of posable. Do I play Dragon Ball Legends on mobile? I do not. <laughs> D-Man says, she pretty. What's up, Black Knight? How's it going? But one thing I'm super excited for right now, we need a Marvel Legends go. That'd be dope. James Duran, yes, I will be at Fanboy, as well as Brooklyn, and hopefully Josh. I don't know about Billy. I've been hearing some bad things. <laughs> So I hope Billy gets to come. If not, dude, next time for sure. What's up, Rashad? How's it going? I'm just building this Call Obsidian right here for Black Black was it Black Dwarf? Pop that back in there. I feel like I'm out of focus. All right, so let's get this started, guys. Let's build this guy. Uh, we're gonna start with that torso piece. Pop the head on that comes with Wasp. Brooklyn just like totally surprised me. This wasn't even planned. I was just going to show you guys my stuff from the recent like few weeks of picking stuff up. And then Brooklyn comes in with Wasp and I was just like, oh, well, I know what we're going to do on the Instagram tonight. Or in the live stream tonight. I was going to say Instagram. Where is Iron Patriot at? What's up, Mike Moreta? What's going on, dude? Maybe he just needed a day off. How was Billy's hangover after the Pence stream Wednesday? I think we're all wondering how that was. He's obviously alive, so that's good. Why is his head not popping out? There we go. All right, now we got a leg. He said, "Build that dwarf." You're not gonna sling her. I'm not gonna. Why? Just because she has wings doesn't mean she actually flies. It's not a paper plane. What, Foxy Friday? Yeah, man, we're back finally. Shoo. Build that door. I'm trying, man. These freaking joints on this dude are tough. I don't think he wants to be built. There's one. Everybody's saying, What's up, Space Face? How's it going, dude? Dude took some awesome toy photography the other day. Looked really good. Used the Indoraptor that everybody's looking for, apparently, that we saw at Walmart the other day, and I didn't even know that. Don't like how they changed his name to Call Obsidian. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really whatever to me. I, really, I mean, I don't know really too much about the guy. I just know he looks pretty dope. I 
As a character in Infinity War, you look good. Since he's on here, what? The Foxy Pot. What's up, Cincy? How's it going, dude? I'm just building this dude right here. Trying to, anyway. This, these damn legs are... I feel like I got them all backwards. No. Nah. No, that's the way it's supposed to be. No, I'm saying you're right. Yeah. Cincy, what up, man? <coughs> Heard you got some sweet, sweet uh, cash from <laughs> boy. Oh man, you got Josh bad. I mean, Josh is—he's got that bug. Can you turn that fan, please? I'm dying. Version of his weapon with the chain out and the end piece and all would have been cool along with the attractive one. That would be cool. He said, I need to get that Hot Toys Hulkbuster money. Yeah, man, I'm excited for you to get that. I'm ex I'm super excited for that. But Josh, dude, he... I'm so jealous. Those Hot Toys that he picked up from you were so nice. And they look so good in that detail too. Josh said, I'm ready to buy more. Yo, dude, if you come down to uh, Fanboy, there's usually a, a whole entire booth just dedicated to Hot Toys. So, I'm just saying. You say that, then he's not going to come because he knows he's going to buy it. <laughs> yeah, but the money that he saves on the hotel, he'll be good. All right, so that leg. Like, yeah, that's true. I gotta buy his ticket to Fanboy too. I told him I would. Oh. I just felt bad because Fanboy, honestly, uh, since he Fanboy is uh, two weekends from now, the twenty eighth through the first. Is that right? Twenty eighth yes, through the thirty yes. first, something like that. 20, it's on the twenty eighth. That's right. Yeah. The first. yeah, that's when it starts. So it, it's it's this week, this month, um, fortunately. And uh, Josh said, wait. What are we waiting for? He's on the website. All right. What do you mean saving money in a hotel? I mean, like, you're going to be saving money not buying a hotel, man. I got you. Why? <laughs> Why is fanboy? <laughs> Who is fanboy? Think if I stand super, super still, nobody can see me in this live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll see the numbers go way down. All right, damn, that took forever. I felt like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, why is him way? Hey. I finally got this dude built. And there we go. Get the Hot Toy Winter Soldier from Winter Soldier movie in Foxy's hands and watch him become a Hot Toy Collector. Yeah, I'm saying I am buying your hotel, man, so you need to come down here, damn it. So, here we go. Coal Obsidian. Finally built. I've been... You guys don't know this, but like I've been trying to build this guy ever since uh, last month when we went to Florida, actually. And, lo and behold, here we go. Space, space. Thanks for the four ninety nine, my man. I appreciate that. You are the man. Everybody, go subscribe to Space, space. He's uh, actually, I think he just hit a hundred subscribers. Hundred, yeah, hundred subscribers. Since he said how much are tickets? Tickets, um, I think they're ranging in between thirty. Usually around thirty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Shot. You know what? I will raise to you. Yeah, Obsidian does look dope. Um, this is one of the builder figures that you guys know that I don't like to build all the builder figures, but this is definitely one that I really been really want to. And uh, Lizard, I really want to build as well. So I just got to get a few more of Lizard, and he'll be done. Um, and after that, I don't think I'm gonna build Spider, and I don't think I'll build. I probably will build the Venom builder figure because I want pretty much every figure in that way except for one. And then uh, X Men probably will do Apocalypse. What do you think might come out in the Avengers Wave 4? What do you want to see? I want a better Bucky. Because every single time we get a Bucky figure, it's a terrible head sculpt, and they need to use something different. Uh, I'm tired of the whole, like, like I want to see your manager hairstyle on Bucky. I'm just, ugh, that's gross. But yeah, guys. Here is what he scales to Wolverine Mezco. So... <laughs> 
pretty cool. Am I, what figs am I looking forward to most out of the spider wave? I think that Daredevil looks pretty, like, the coolest one. And what is it, the Scarlet Spider? Scarlet Spider looks great, too. So, um, I think those two are probably... I know Doc Ock looks great, too, so I kind of want those three. Doc Ock, uh, Daredevil, and Scarlet Spider. <clears throat> what? Thanks, Rabbit Hammer. This community is amazing, and thanks for the shout out, Boxy. No, man, thank you for the for what you did. I'm taking some Black Series six inch scarif picks tomorrow outside near a pond. Dope, man. Make sure to link me the link me to those. A level ninety nine toy hunter. What's up, dude? <clears throat> so, uh, my last good fig in the morning episode, I did a what is toy photography kind of thing, introduction to it, and I'm gonna make it like a series. So, if you guys have any shots that you want to see. If you guys have any shots that you want me to share on there, send me those on Instagram or tag me in those. There's a Bucky. Yeah, I know there's a Bucky coming, but he, he pretty much has the same exact hairstyle, and it's it's awful. They need to stop reusing that hairstyle. We just need one that's, like, long and has his actual, like, cool-looking gear. It's just so many failed attempts. Foxy, I miss you, buddy. The Nerd Bar misses you. Man, I miss the Nerd Bar. That was some good times there. Yeah, Cincy, why don't you uh, why don't you come on down? You and Josh just take the weekend, dude. I'm just saying, we're gonna get a hotel room and. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm saving up to get the SH. I'm biased towards long hair. This is the first time my hair's ever actually been this long, honestly. I have my permission to use all your photos. Yo, dude, I will definitely take some of those. That'd be cool. Because I've been, like, watermarking everybody with their Instagrams and stuff like that. Let me check my calendar. At least he didn't say, like, let me check my Palm Pilot. Remember that? Remember that Fast and the Furious? He's like, let me check my Palm Pilot. <laughs> I'm saving up to get such figure arts. Yo, I just want, right now, I think one of the main figures that I want um, is the Dragon Star's Gyron. That looks dope. I haven't been able to find that yet. And what am I drinking? <laughs> right here. Yingling. Yingling. Apparently, Brooklyn brought it home, and it's actually not that bad. Let me check my Blackberry. Yo, don't don't be messing with Blackberries, because I had one back in the day, and I thought I was the shit. Like, it had a cell phone before every other phone had a, or a yeah. cell phone. It had a light, like a flashlight, before everybody, had a, before everybody else had a flashlight. Razor phones were dope, but did they have a flashlight on them? You were so cool if you had a razor. Yeah, that was that was true. But most of the people were just walking around with their mom's razor, though. They like, were just like, mm, look at me. Yo, no, some some people uh, some people's Nokia's are probably still living to this day. Is Brooklyn sick in this stream? Ah, give it time. <coughs> there you go. Watching from Australia. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Yes, Prowl 1005. We will be at Knoxville uh, Fanboy Expo. Looks like, yeah, have a drink. <laughs> and Andrew said the timing on that cough. Yo, so uh, in, the, in the comments right now, a guy named Asai, you see that he has like the gorillas style picture. Go ahead and give him a subscribe, uh, especially if you guys like, like, anime like pokemon and stuff like that uh we're actually gonna do like a crossover episode where i'm toy hunting and he's doing like toy hunting for, or card hunting for like pokemon cards and stuff like that so it's gonna be really cool and i'm gonna we're gonna share that with you all i try to hold it in she doesn't really say anything <laughs> night of rent are you coming to fanboy expo dude what did we think of the the acme superstore i thought it was awesome it's really cool um for like um what's it called vintage collectors and stuff like that i wish there was a lot of newer stuff because a lot of the stuff that i was looking for is newer um i just i don't think i bought anything from there the one big one we went to towards orlando i thought it was cool for what it was a lot of they have a lot of hot stuff. toys and like you said vintage but yo <laughs> since you learned, man you got it you and josh man y'all can take a bro trip from Ohio to Tennessee, and uh, hotel on me. I'm just saying. That'd be dope. That lineup is fantastic. Fanboy does some good jobs with that. And the cool thing about it is, Fanboy is usually in one 
uh, convention center. But this uh, this um, this time around, it's gonna have a convention center for the people, like that you can meet, meet and greets and stuff like that. And then one whole entire convention center just for vendors. So they usually pack vendors. Uh, artist alley and a tattoo area as well as the meet and greets in one spot where this time the vendors are going to have their own entire um conventions uh, floor so i'm super excited for that josh went to the the fall fanboy expo and that one's usually a little bit smaller and i hyped it up so much and i felt so bad that because it was just like it wasn't that good i'm not gonna lie but this even the the lineup last year wasn't that good so Lisa says, hi, Foxy. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Am I going to Star Wars Celebration? Next question. Foxy, in the comments, there were a lot of poisons. You can, uh, you can arm build and poison coming in the way. Oh, that's dope. Well, till five and a half, not quite as good as six, but almost. <laughs> you know it. Uh, that was good. Well, till five and a half. This isn't that bad. No. Good job. Yeah. I wish I had Killian's though. Nobody had a six pack. Mom I might, have a six pack. Mom might have it. And he yep. had it. Can somebody do me a huge favor? Actually, I can do it. Carry on. I'll do this. I, you wish you were going to Fanboy? Yo, dude, do it. It's fun. Fanboy is fantastic. I've been to the past three or four. So... I suggest Fanboy. Um, there's one in the fall and there's one in the summer. The one in the summer is always better than the one in the fall. A lot bigger as well. So I highly suggest Fanboy Expo. The Poison Fig looks so sick. Some folks complaining it seems the spider tendrils can't unplug. But still, yeah, I would I would definitely have them in the chest anyway. I mean, there's no reason why I would take them out. So I think the Poison Fig looks great. I think the Typhoid Mary is okay. It's a cool figure. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't know anything about the character. Uh, so that's the only like thing hindering me from wanting every single figure. Let's see. Yeah, Space Face. That's what I was going to do is post in the Syndicate. Yeah, I went two years ago and then forgot about it last year. Yeah, Prowl. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to see you there, man. We're going to go on Saturday. And usually Sunday is where you can find a lot of good prices. We did last year. That electric fig does look good. That entire wave, that carnage with the axe, the, uh, the even the spider ham with the uh, what's his, what is his? I keep forgetting his symbiote name. What is spider ham symbiote name? Yeah, we're usually there before it opens, uh, Prowl. So I'll definitely be there. Thank you, Space Space. Appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it as well, just so people see it twice. Pork grind. That's it. It's pork grind. That's his. That's his symbiote name. I keep forgetting that. I like. I hear it every other day, and I keep forgetting. Pork grind. It's cool. That's so freaking cool. What's up, KB the toy hunter? How's it going, my dude? We are just chilling. I just oh actually built Coal Obsidian. So look at him. Dope. Spider Ham will get the reward for the best Marvel Legend of all time. Yo, he's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm getting that one specifically for Brooklyn. I'm not gonna lie. The pig? Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn wants that legend. So. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and type this in here. Just built coal. Obsidian. Have you guys saw these uh, San Diego Comic Con Black Series figures coming out? Are you guys going to pick up any of those? That centerpiece looks really good, but for $109, I don't know about it. Um, but that, that pack with Han Solo, I agree with everybody. It probably should have came with more of the Minoc, um figures. That would have been cool. But for what it is, I mean, it's it's a flashback to the, an older movie, and it's a Han Solo we've never had. So I think I'm going to pick one up, if I can get my hands on it anyway. Um, might not be able to, and if not, that's okay. But uh, but definitely want to try, that's for sure. Thunderhammer and Rocket should have a mini-comic series together, and they fight Kraven. That would be pretty funny. 
I think the Black Series exclusive. They are a little lackluster. I wish there was a little bit more. Last year's was definitely better, but I mean they were coming off of a bunch of those movies and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, they could have done a lot of stuff, man. I do agree with that. You got the Han and the Afrofoil three pack, dude. That's sick. How did you find the Infinity War wave? I can't find it anywhere. Well, it first started when we were in Florida. I found Thor and Ant Man. I got the two that I wanted, and then we found a Black Knight at a GameStop. We found Malekith at our local Walmart. And then I... Who else is in it? Damn it, who's in the wave? I forgot. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. That's all of them. My little kid's in a Walmart. And then uh, Brooklyn actually brought me Black Widow from another Walmart like a week ago. And I just haven't filmed any of this stuff, guys. I'm sorry. But there'll be a Toy Hunt video out pretty soon. And then today, Brooklyn surprised me with the uh, Wasp and she found it at another Walmart. So check your local Walmarts. They're probably going to have it. Walmart and GameStop are the two places I've seen the most of them in retail. Um, for Thor and Ant-Man, I got them at a local, at a comic book shop up in St. Augustine, Florida. So, that's how I got those. Pick up Han Solo once it hits retail? Yeah, that'd be dope. What's up, Big Dub? How you doing, man? Yeah, dude, I just need to send, uh, Brooklyn on toy hunts, because every time I go, I don't find anything. And then, like, literally, she's been, see, her, her brother lives near a walmart and every time she goes most of the time she'll stop in and that's where she found mostly pretty much everything that i've looked for so far i have saw battlefield 5 it looks great i'm super excited for watchdogs as well but i think the main thing from uh from e4 e4 e3 is spider-man spider-man looks so good i can't wait for that i've actually been playing call of duty black ops 3 because they made they put it for free on the PlayStation Network, and uh, I've been playing that a lot lately. But if you're just tuning in, guys, I just built the uh, Coal Obsidian. I just noticed we have 40 people, 41 now. Thank you so much. So that's pretty cool. And I wish I could do this like every every week. Yo, so I'm not gonna steal uh, actors from Hellboy. Are gonna be a fanboy? Yes, they are, Andrew. They are. Dude, if you want to go, just uh, let us know. I mean, I think we'll be in Knoxville the whole week but jesus is going and so is joey so you can go with you can snag a ride with them and we will all meet up there dude that'd be awesome does anyone want a benching iron patriot dude where have you been oh, i missed you man jason what's going on dude where have you been iron patriot i'm not drinking uh bud light tonight but i got i got some of this i mean it's, it's still light but i can't pronounce this name guys ying ling is that it? Yeah. Okay. I, I keep I say wingling whenever I look at it. Like it looks like it would say wingling. Sam's Club, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Lock your doors. Hide your. I love that IP has become like a sensation through live streaming. It's the best thing ever. Everybody knows who Iron Patriot is. <laughs> it's so great too. Oh man. Yingling. That's it. You got a chance to play at... Whoa, that's pretty dope, man. I wish I could go to E3 one day. I wish I could. He likes his gear. Foxy, did you get the neck? No, man. And I'll tell you why I did not get... I'm going to tell everybody why I did not participate in the purchasing of the NECA 7-inch turtles. Because of those right there. I don't know. I just felt like I didn't need the 7-inch ones. And I just really wanted these. And I want to get another one of these. So... The $125 plus whatever, tax, shipping, whatever, I don't care. Um, I can just buy one of these guys, so I don't know. That's just why. That's just my personal reasoning. They're, they're dope, though, honestly. If I had more room, I probably would have. But limited room, got to stick with these guys, even though they're bigger. Makes, my, makes so much more sense when you don't think about it. IP just got <laughs> – just glad Zach ain't here tonight. No, I think IP's the person I want to be, like, around when he's drunk, honestly. Because he's hilarious. I wish you guys knew how freaking... We were on the showroom floor in Chicago at C2E2, and people were coming up to me and Josh and asking us for pictures and stuff, and Josh and then IP would be like, that'll be $15. And, like, didn't even know the guy, and, like, just starts cracking up. It's IP the savage, for sure. Do I hope for more <laughs> Zach from Spiro? Oh, my God. Uh, I wasn't in there for that, but I heard about it. Shout out to Spiro. Um, do you hope for more quarter scale TMNT? Actually, um, they a sculptor for NECA or something like that actually put 
a video out showing some foot soldier quarter scale like feet and some shredder claw like talent talons or whatever it's called and a casey jones um hockey stick all quarter scale so i think it's coming i do not know i'm good i already have like i'm at half of this Gotta go. Keep up the great work. Talk to you later. See you, Space Face. Everybody, make sure to subscribe to Space Face. He's an up-and-coming YouTuber. Take some dope toy photography pictures, too. Nix Figs. What's going on, dude? IP is like the mascot of these channels. Like, geez, he's all dreams. Yo, it's little-known fact that IP, Josh, and I have our set own separate <laughs> chat on Facebook. And it's freaking hilarious 24-7. So, little-known fact. Only the 43 people in here know that. Bit you. you cold? Yeah. I'm burning up. Everybody wants to see you. Why don't you come say hi? Come here. <laughs> Jesus. All this time, I've been YouTubing for two years and you still won't get in front of the camera. Iron Patriot is the opposite of Morgan Freeman. Oh. Love you guys at the chat. Yo, Iron Patriot, man. When's that first Toy Hunt video, dude? I want to see that. <clears throat> Anyone seen Kane? <laughs> yeah, so I just uh, got done filming Good Fig in Morning, so yeah. talk about a bunch of stuff on there this time around. Did I build him already? Yes, Jose Sanchez. How's it going, dude, by the way, first of all? Uh, and I did. I built Cole Obsidian here. I don't know where I'm going to put him, but we're going to find a spot. He looks dope. Do you know if your phone will connect to a projector? I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be able to. Congrats on my wedding. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, Jose, he's a dope figure. If, I, if you have a chance to build him, do it. And every character in that wave is pretty is a really good like fig. So I would go ahead and just build him, man. This guy looks awesome. It's like somebody said in the comments below a little while ago. I wish they had like a like a this separated, like a chain coming out and stuff. But uh, yeah, he actually is a really tall figure. Here is Mysterio, which is a relatively a normal size legend compared to him. So. There you go. Which wave is better, the Venom or the new Spidey? I have to say the Venom wave. Yeah, I will agree with you, Prowl. The Venom wave looks so much better, um, but the new X-Men wave coming out... Oh, Actually, I pre-ordered from Hasbro Toy Shop the Wolverine wave, or Wolverine from the new X-Men wave and the Magneto wave, but they didn't take it off my card and they didn't send me a confirmation email. And both, they did both to Josh. So I don't think mine actually went through, even though I got the confirmation, like, took a screenshot of the confirmation number and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think it went through. So I'll just wait to find those at retail. I've been having good luck in my area anyway, so we'll see what happens. Plus, it's another video. Rocking the pork rind head? Yeah, me too. It <laughs> just hit myself in the nuts. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <clears throat> Yo, this is pretty good. I, I'm going to give this to you. Good job. I'm going to drink this more. <laughs> Andrew said that'll be $15. Pizza guy, yeah. You want to close that door out there? No, it's not open. The front door's not open. Oh. How's Patriot? Yeah, how are you, Iron Patriot? How's it going, dude? Yep, that's Pups. Really want a new Beats, Professor X, and Nightcrawler. I would love to have that, and I know everybody wants a Gambit as well. Am I looking for any of the new Dragon Stars? Yes, every single one of them. Apparently my GameStop had them, and then like on their website it showed that they had them, and then all of a sudden they didn't. But I checked while they were in stock, and they didn't have them, so I don't know what happened there. Either somebody inside bought them or something, but yeah. Let's see. Are you looking for the new blah, blah, blah? Collector's Zone dealt with Hasbro. I'd say go there. So back on Twitter. Yeah, I wish they did. Unfortunately, there's yeah, it's a big fiasco with that, but... I don't blame them for the reason why they don't, they don't deal with Hasbro. Someone mad because they didn't find new Marvel Legends. Let's see, let's see, let's see what else we got. Apparently, that was a pizza guy the dogs are going crazy about. You dare to dab? What? Will you be getting the Spider-Man Legend based on the new game? Yes, and I'll get that game as well. I'm so excited for that. How's that, Wasp? 
Well, Brooklyn has her all like posed up sitting down. So Wasp is dope. I think I'm gonna put like the the million dollar man hands where he's like shut on there. But but yeah, she's pretty cool. I want to put her in a flight uh, flight stand though. I think that would be dope. You're so sorry though. Nick, I was trying to cut some wires off this box and I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, the wasp is dope. I can't decide what uh, head I like better, the mask or this. It's weird because her eye looks weird on camera, but it's fine in person. Huh? Like it looks like she has a lazy eye on the on like this side right here, but she doesn't in person, so I don't get that. Weird. The dogs barking are the sound of two twiners fighting for a hot toy, a case and he and Josh. Probably. Saddest death in Marvel is the tomato that was sliced in the official Ant-Man and Wasp trailer. Yeah, man, that was pretty sad. I do agree. But yeah, she's a dope fig, and now I got this whole entire wave complete. So, um, have any question? Has anybody saw Good Fig in Morning? If so. Do you like it? What do you think about it? Is there anything you want to see? Or what? That new Deadpool wave pick looked nice today. Yeah, I actually caught my my live reaction to seeing that. I was trying to look for a Funko Pop post because I was going to do some Funko Pop news on Good Figure Morning. And I saw that and I was like, what? And yeah, it was pretty cool. What's on my hunt list though? Honestly, you know, it's the OG morning show. It is. It is the OG morning show for Funko. Air for Funko for figs. Wow. Bro, I love Good Figure Morning. Great way to start the morning. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, but as for Huntless, man, I think I'm just looking towards Marvel Legends right now. I want more Mezco figures. Honestly, I want a lot of Mezco figures. But uh, Legends so far. Really enjoy GFM. Love Good Figure Morning. <laughs> GFM is bueno. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. The original... Can I bench since he, I've been dying to? <laughs> you got my plate. I appreciate that. Okay. Really enjoyed the new freaking morning episode with ACBA. You are pretty good, and so are the others in that video. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Toy photography is something that I've done very, very little of, just here and there in the past few like years. And uh, I just I took three photography classes all together, three or four all together and uh i like it i enjoy it do i speak spanish no <laughs> we doing fanboy or what since he nerd says josh oh man here we go appreciate you is this pizza what is this yeah what kind it's weird it's, it's california good. chicken yeah I it was oh yeah it is jenny said what the fuck is that we got pizza tonight folks pizza tonight <laughs> Iron Patriot said, yo, what is that? Uh, Y'all remember whenever I had a uh, Launchable? Everybody went freaking nuts over that Launchable? We upgraded. Yeah. I had a Launchable on my live stream. I was just eating it. I was hungry. Your boy was hungry. And uh, freaking everybody was like going crazy that I was eating a damn Launchable. Tennessee home of the hillbillies? There are some, man. There are some, but a lot of sophisticated people here, too. You want a Chalupa Iron Patriot? Walk your ass to Taco Bell and get it, dude. You live in Chicago. Are you giving me this whole thing? I can have yeah, most of it. You don't like it? The piece with all the chicken. Hmm. And some cake. Can you ship Lunchables? Can you ship Lunchables, dude? I shipped Josh a rock star, so I don't see why not. There's probably nobody. Hmm? There's probably not drop that. Yeah, just the uh, hillbillies are everywhere. That is true. Who's hating on my hillbilly? <laughs> I don't think Iron Patriot realizes that I'm actually from Michigan. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. That's because you really don't talk. I mean, you talk like you're from here. <clears throat> oh, 
Let's see. Can you ship Lunchables? Hibblades are everywhere. Yep. Yo, IP, I'm getting Taco Bell before work tonight. Yeah, I can't go without that sweet spot. I feel like you're doing Coke. Who's doing Coke? Not doing. Oh, because <laughs> I keep like, going down here. And you never know what's behind the other camera, dude. From floor. Why are you handing me all your pizza? You don't want this either? That's so spicy from that one pizza place. Well, here. I don't want to eat on camera. I don't care. Got that Yandu Deluxe Hot Toy shipping notice one day after Gladiator 3 Deluxe hitting that pocketbook. Oh man, I can only imagine. You're from Michigan too? What's up, dude? I lived for a little while in Michigan. We made a, the drive to Michigan a lot when we were moving down, that's for sure. Since you said where's the pizza place? It's from a local place called Pizza Plus. It's pretty good pizza, I'm not going to lie. And it's like all over Tennessee. It's like Tennessee's Portillo's. Did I see the select Black Panther? I did. It looks good. Looks very good. No, I'm good for now. I'll get my plate here in a few minutes. We ain't gonna be out here very much longer. And then Iron Patriot said snort that shit. I'm not gonna snort pizza, man. That'd be that'd be a terrible idea. You should though, you're from Chicago. Deep dish. Snort that. Is it like Pizza Plus or Pizza Pizza Plus? It's like, it's like that one. Which one? <laughs> That's the joke. What is that? You goof. <laughs> I just fed you pizza. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And picked you up a food. That's true. Okay. Bro, take care and everyone in the... Wow, three people leaving all just like that. That's crazy. They didn't want to see you eat pizza. That's true. Yo, our Patriot, she's right here, man. Just say, just say what's up. Yeah, I'm from Chicago, too. I inject deep dish into my veins. All right, so since dinner is done, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed Foxy Friday. We're going to be doing it again next week and the week after that. And, uh, yeah, dude, she's right. She's right here. Look. No. <laughs> there she is. He said, hello, miss. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I'm going to go eat because I'm starving and worked all day. Um, I'll see you guys soon. The Michigan Marauder. Dude, I'm the Tennessee Gentleman, the Michigan Marauder. I have so many freaking nicknames. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So, and I'm just going to awkwardly press this button twice. So, I'll see you guys later.